All right, everybody, so um, I'm down in my basement on the train layout. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be starting a video to build this bridge. Um, now, this is like the main, one of the main um, centerpieces on my layout. This is the 48 inch um, wood truss bridge that I then um, salt weathered. Um, so it looks like it's rusted and things like that. Um, it was originally, it's made out of oak. Um, I did not build this. Um, I, I had purchased this on eBay years ago, um, but I've been asked by someone to build them um, something similar to this. So I'm going to do my best. I'm going to give it a try. Um, I've measured these pieces, um, you know, and, and gotten kind of the same sizes. So we're going to go into the wood shop and do like a little train layout wood shop collaboration ish project here and see if I can replicate this bridge to be 29 inches instead of the 48 that this one is, um, which is. Um, what the person has requested. So um, we'll give it a shot. All right, so um, today we're gonna to be working on the truss bridge. Um, so change some things up. So I'll show you the plans. I've got it sketched out for the pieces for the, so I can kind of lay it down and get it glued up, tacked together. Um, so this total length of this um, is gonna be about 27 inches or so, um, about seven and a half inches high. Um, what we're gonna be using is we're gonna be using some oak Today to build this, it's going to be a little bit stronger. Um, it's the same material that my bridge um, on my layout is built out of. Um, so we're going to start off by building the the main kind of beams on the along the bottom. That's going to take a little bit of work um, on the table saw, getting those cut out um, just as they are on, on my bridge that I have downstairs. And then we're going to have to make a bunch of the, the kind of those uh, truss supports that are about. Um, quarter inches uh, um, and about quarter inch by about eight inches or so. So we're gonna have to be doing a lot of cutting and, and things like that. And we're gonna try to, to resaw some some oak that we have today too. So a lot of the work that I'm gonna be doing on this is gonna involve the table saw. Um, we're gonna be using the planer a little bit and the band saw um, are gonna be the main tools that we're gonna be working on today. So um, let me show you the plans. All right, so here's the plans. Ignore the scribble mark from my son um, that I, I've sketched out today. Measured. This is going to be this is a scale drawing of what it's going to be. So my plan is I can then lay those pieces down, make sure they all line up, and glue them together. And um, so that's just a profile, side profile of what this bridge will be. And then some really rough sketches down here of um, a side profile or end profile of what those main beams are that I'm going to have to build. And here are the actual dimensions that we want for those. Um, this is just. Um, Obviously, just a rough sketch. So, maybe get some oak that's going to be one inch uh, by one inch, and then we're going to cut a corner, a quarter out here, and then five eighths by half an inch here. Um, so the obviously the dimensions along this bottom aren't quite. Um, it's going to be about an inch and a quarter, so we can get all of that math to equal out. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, and jump in. All right, so what we're doing here is we're taking our, our oak and we're ripping it down on the table saw to the final width that we want it. And then here at the miter saw station, we are measuring this to 27 inches or just past 27 inches. I've got both of those pieces together, making sure the ends are lined up. And I'm gonna go ahead and chop that just past my final length. Uh, these are gonna be the two main beams. All right, so now what we're gonna have to do is take, we've got these pieces cut to 27 inches long. They are about an inch and an eighth um, wide by seven eighths. Um, so what we're gonna do now is just mark out on the end here what that profile is gonna look like. And then we're gonna use the table saw, drop that blade down a little bit um, and cut those, that profile out. And then what we'll do is cut it to our, its final length. It's just a little bit over 27 inches now. Um, and then we're going to start working on um, machining um, our truss pieces. Got that marked out. We're going to cut those out. So now we're going to set our table saw, cut those pieces out.
right, so with that profile cut out, I'm just going to go over it with some 100 grit, 120 grit sandpaper, just to round those edges off so they're not too sharp, don't get any splinters, get those nice and smooth. Now here what we're doing is we're taking the oak um, that is going to be the truss pieces, and we're planing it down so it's nice and flat. That's a re-sawn piece from the, the bandsaw. Um, and here what we're going to do is cut it down to a quarter of an inch in length, and then we'll chop those down to the seven and a half inches we need. All right, so we've got all these pieces cut. Um to their proper length. So now what we need to do is we're going to begin kind of laying this out um, as it would be, you know, the each side, um, if you will. So these pieces, you know, these are these quarter inch pieces. They're going to fit right into this slot here on this, um, on these main beams. And then we're going to have to cut some angles on these pieces so they kind of all fit up nicely um, and we can get a good a good joint with some glue and then some small brad nails all right so i've got wood glue i've got some ca glue and some ca like uh the rapid um zip stuff that locks it up right away i'm going to try to assemble this here i've got some wood glue on this up this first upright piece um, i'm going to put some ca and zap it just to really hold it in place I'm gonna try and tack it with a um, small brad nail to really give it some strength also. All right, so I've uh, just put in the last piece on here. Um, I have abandoned the wood glue, I'm just sticking with the CA. Um, at this point, it's just so much faster and easier than using the tight bond. Um, so all the main truss pieces are on. So now what I'm going to do is put the, this, the, the bottom sections in, that, these cross joints here. We're going to put these in. Place, and then what we'll do is we'll do the top. Now, um, like I said, this is the first bridge that I've actually scratch built myself, just based off the one that I have on my layout. The one that I have on my layout I bought years ago um, on eBay. Um, and I, for the life of me, can't remember the seller who I had purchased it from. Um, but, uh, you know, if you do this over and over again, it's easier if you have a jig for the, you know, the trestle. Um, or the truss rather itself. So um, if I were to do this over and over again, I would probably take some time, build a jig for those, um, just to make it your life a little bit easier and make sure it's more consistent. You know, there's, the, they're not perfectly aligned. Um, it's gonna be okay for what the project is that I'm building this for. Um, but it's, if I'm doing something like I'm selling these, um, I would definitely have a jig set up, but it's gonna be good enough for, for what we need. Um, so let's get, these sections together and then we'll work on the top. So what I'm doing, I just have a block of three quarter plywood. That's my spacer, I just kind of stick that in there, apply some glue. Stick that across, hit it with the zap, and then move it. So we are on the last cross section here on the top. So what I'm doing is just laying these down on here and then marking out where I'm going to cut them. And then just cutting them out again with this saw, gluing them in place here. And, uh, and that'll wrap up the build. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to put the caps on the ends of these, because obviously right now, you know, you can see some inconsistencies in these joints and that doesn't look all that great. So we're gonna put a cap over this, just like the bridge that I have in the basement. What I'm gonna use is um, just this uh, best what I got from the hobby shop. This is an eighth of an inch thick. 
I'm gonna use my hobby knife to be cutting this and be measuring off some of the um, the caps that we're gonna put on here. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so I've got the basswood here. What I did is I cut these sections for, for where we have three coming together, um, an inch and three quarters. And then for these ones, these are an inch. Um, and then what I'm doing is, you know, I've cut one out to be kind of my, my master and then place those over top and draw them and cut them out. All right, so we've got the end caps on there. And so uh, we'll let this all dry and set. And then we're gonna do some painting and weathering for it. Um, so, um, you know, this was a, a first time that I've done this. It's an interesting process, but this is a, a, a nice, easy, cheap way to, to build your own truss bridge at home. Um, obviously I have some tools that make this a lot easier for me to do, um, but you could probably get some smaller pieces of basswood and, and use that um, instead of the oak that I have here. Uh, but I like the oak, it just kind of creates a stronger product. Um, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in to part two, where we will do some salt weathering. Thanks for watching.